Welcome to the Share Family Cooperation and Interconnection for a Sustainable Linked Open Data Ecosystem. My name is Nina Servizzi. I am the Associate Dean of Knowledge Access and Resource Management Services at New York University Libraries. I am also a past chair of the Share Family Advisory Council. I would like to begin today's presentation with a brief overview of the Share Family, our vision, values, and governance. The SHARE family began in 2016. Developed and guided by an international community, the SHARE family of initiatives envisions a future where individual libraries and consortia collaboratively define principles guiding the description of data resources and shape tools enabling research and discovery. To date, we've reached many milestones, including the SHARE VDE entity-based discovery platform and the J. Cricket Entity Editor. These projects are core to the success of the Share Family Linked Data Environment. These accomplishments are the result of our members' input, collaboration, and expertise across a wide range of academic research and national libraries, archives, museums, and other cultural heritage institutions. All initiatives in the Share Family adhere to a set of core principles. Cooperative. Members are at the core of the SHARE family. Our international community of institutions and consortia actively participate in defining the vision, aims, and progress of the SHARE family and its tools. Sustainable. The SHARE family promotes a flexible and cooperative approach to descriptive data where the community shares time, expertise, and costs for the benefit of all members. Interoperable. Leveraging RDF-based BigFrame data model to convert descriptive information into linked data facilitates interoperability with various data models and pools and enhances research visibility and fostering engagement with library, archive, and museum collections. This highly structured data is also well suited for training AI applications. Open data. As part of our dedication to promoting open access, we apply and endorse open metadata policies to improve the discovery of library and cultural heritage resources and encourage members to use the data to support local initiatives. Flexible. Individual members in consortia can benefit from share family data while maintaining their current library systems and technical infrastructure. Local and external systems can reuse structured and rich data from various library types, allowing each institution to maintain control of its own data. Authoritative. The success of share family initiatives is built on the expertise of its members. Member organizations collectively ensure the quality of data through advanced technical processes and collaborative modeling and enrichment and sharing. Through these values, the SHARE family commits to developing long-term viability of solutions, encourages interaction within an evolving ecosystem of linked data, and empowers our members to adapt and thrive in the digital age. Oversight of the direction of SHARE Family lies with the SHARE Family Advisory Council, which includes representatives from member institutions and consortia. All members collaborate in policymaking and tool development, share expertise, responsibility, and cost for the community's benefit. This is accomplished through active engagement in working groups that meet on a regular basis. If you would like more information on the SHARE family and our open data policy, links are available here. My name is Martin Knott. Uh, I am a metadata librarian at the University of Michigan, where I am responsible for uh, linked data projects, uh, digital resources, and electronic resource cataloging. Uh, next year, as of uh, January, I will be chair of the Share Family Advisory Council. As members of the Share Family, participating institutions play an active and collaborative role 
in defining and designing the tools that will be used in their institutions from theory to implementation. To contribute to share family goals, member institutions are asked to contribute uh, their data. These come in various formats. The linked open data services provided by membership includes the multi-step process of transforming the data to RDF. The process results in numerous deliverables, discovery portals and APIs to enable research at member institutions, fully retrievable data sets and capabilities for integration with other platforms and programs, collaborative management of the shared data, and finally, uh, additional services to support uh, workflows at the uh, members' institutions. Uh, linked uh, open data is not only for machine use, but also for human consumption. The share portal uh, supports an entity-based presentation layer modeled on the BitFrame data model with the aim of presenting uh, such a large amount of information in a simple way, simple and intuitive way to extend and improve the search experience. The shared user interface is the result of requirements collected through interviews with end users with the aim of simplifying the complexity. In such a large international community, interoperability is still a key element to be pursued. The encounter and embrace between different geographical and cultural communities has prompted the Share family to expand the original bid frame model to better respond to some specific entity modeling needs, uh, also collected through interviews with end users. A major share family project that is currently underway is Jade Cricket, uh, a tool for a new way of performing authority control. Linked open data calls for a new way of thinking about what is the authoritative name for known entities. Rather than identifying the one preferred form of an entity's name, it is more meaningful to express the relationships amongst the known names for the entity along with any other known information. Jay Cricket is a collaborative tool that enables members to share management of this type of entity data in a cluster knowledge base. The members data that has been put through the bid frame conversion process are then aggregated, leading to linked data entities. These entities are discoverable in the entity discovery portal. Entities are in fact clusters of data from multiple institutions. These are stored in the Shear family cluster knowledge base. When JCricket is completed, Shear family member like institutions will be able to authenticate in a dedicated area of the portal and then manually edit potential errors uh, created during the conversion process. These edits on uh, share family entities will be saved in the CKB or cluster knowledge base. JCricket APIs will allow communication with member institutions, local systems. Uh, could be to notify them of changes made to the entities in the CKB or this service could optionally uh, activate those local updates in those local systems. JCricket is just one example 
of the collaborative tools and services developing within the Share Family linked open data ecosystem. As you'll see, that ecosystem is diverse and growing. Hello, my name is Jackie Samples, and I am the head of metadata and discovery strategy at Duke University Libraries. I was the inaugural chair of the Share Family Advisory Committee. As my colleagues have described, the Share Family is a global community built on collaboration. This global community brings together people from libraries, archives, museums, consortia, and library service platforms to join their knowledge in an ever widening network of interconnected resource and discovery data. Multiple descriptive ontologies are encoded in the RDF format. I think of this as, an inter as um, interconnected metadata ontologies distributed on uh, a data carrier such as RDF, but the format, the infrastructure is flexible enough so that, that can be iterated in the future as ontologies and data structures evolve. Um, this is, of course, a simplification of what's happening behind the scenes, where many people collaborate to share data, discuss data standards, uh, researcher needs, and, import, and improve discovery systems for knowledge advancements. Uh, the expanding community uh, communities are represented on this slide. Uh, more information on each of these initiatives are included in the slide set if you'd like to see and read more about them. Um, and so while there are academic library projects that encompass a wealth of resource descriptions, the same approach can be applicable to different collections and institutions that might have different data structures and different uh, but similar uh, needs for distributing and publishing those data. Uh, there are linked open data projects for art, music, bibliography, and manuscripts um, part of the share family and, and, and these come together to enrich the research experience across disciplines of study. It is the diversity of data sets, that is data repositories for research data and library data and museum data that allow for searching across these different uh, communities, uh, which are all carried on that RDF based ontologies uh, in, for example, BibFrame, IIIF, RDA, RIC, and um, others that are in development. Uh, mapping data across these ecosystems and will enrich the pool of resources available in the discovery environment with the goal, as I said, of increasing knowledge uh, and improving research. Uh, the SHARE family initiatives improve the visibility of hidden resources by applying the entity data modeling structure. Uh, this slide shows some of the underlying principles of the share family of initiatives, but also shows the shift of a paradigm uh, that we are in now towards progressively new, a new data ecosystem. Um, the entity discovery approach, uh, for example, with a work hierarchy, starting from the clustering at the highest level of abstraction, transforms library catalogs in a, into, uh, in a research tools, providing structured access and visibility to research in its original language in all disciplines. So that might sound obvious that our data should be transmittable in its original language and all other languages, but um, it's not as obvious maybe you, as you might think, uh, especially for non-English material and other and um, some niche uh, disciplines, especially in humanities, which can be marginalized in search results just based on the assumption of the tools, uh, underlying assumptions in tools development. Um, but in the share family, uh, the data is always open in all stages of the conversion and transformations. And so that data is, has independence from both local practices and from local choices of data stores. Uh, and it's, a, it's a key element of the adopted approach. Local practices can contribute to the richness of data. For example, the intellectual work undertaken in 
specialized semantic description for specific subjects that can now become visible outside of what could be a domain data silo. So our local practices can be maintained while also enriching the, the global set of data. Uh, the uh, entire Shack family is equidistant from the library systems, for example, and encourage each of those to become compatible within its environment. Using concretely linked open data, therefore not only publishing the data, but using it actively in the various processes, enables a new level of international cooperation to maintain in a sustainable manner the wealth of information that we have now and that will con inevitably continue to grow. By serving, among many others, as an authoritative data source, the Share Family Data Tenants' aim is to contribute to an emerging bibliographic ecosystem where data modeling, data enrichment, and data sharing are handled collectively. On behalf of myself and Nina and Martin, thank you for your attention. Uh, please reach out to us with any questions.